Oh, look, it records for us, but not when I'm on the phone with 100 people. How nice. That's right. You did so good last night. Thank you. Or whatever. Whatever it whatever was. Night it was. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Kessa, you go. All right, you guys. Well, hi. Thanks for being on tonight. Um, I want to start off by giving a huge shout out to Jessica. I don't I know if she's on, but I don't know if she's on. Um, Jessica Morris is one of my, she's my newest coach. And you guys, it took me three years to find a crazy nut. You know, like you hear Summer talk about that. Like, you know, you just have that one person that dives right in with you. And Jessica is that girl for me. And it's given me my fire back. You know, we go through those dips and I was definitely in a dip. Um, so I think God brought her to me. I think it all meshed up you know, to be the way it's supposed to be. But um, she hit today, she hit Success Club 6. That is three months in a row. So she earned her summit ticket, which is huge. So super proud of her. And I'm telling you, she's like this close to going diamond. So that's really exciting to um, like see her fly out of the gate like that. Uh, I, it's not, I haven't had any coaches like that. So it's exciting and to see what she's going to do with it. Um, so good job, Jess. I'm sure you're on or listening if you're working, but, um, we're just really going to dive right in you guys and talk about this weekend. And I don't know if anybody got to a super Saturday event that wasn't in DC with us, but it's so cool to now see like Brenda and I'm like, Oh, I've met her all these people. I want to see everyone else. I like that. Um, oh yeah, there's the ass grabber right there. That's her Megan. Yep. I remember her. Oh, yay. Oh, here's another shout out I want to give. How do I get all four, everyone up here? There we go. I want to give a shout out to Megan Baker. I don't say your, is it Yevich? Do I say it right? I killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Sorry. I won't even try anymore. Megan. All right, you guys talk about stepping outside of her comfort zone. She went to, first of all, she was so excited. She lives up by Toledo and Carl Deichler I don't know, was Janelle Summers there? All right, Janelle Summers and Autumn Calabrese was at the Super Saturday she attended. I wanna say, I don't know how many people were there. Here, I'm gonna unmute you. Maybe. Do I know? Oh, I don't have that option. Kim, you're gonna have to do it. Or, there you go, perfect. So anyway, Megan, how many people were there? 750. That's what I thought you said, 750 people, all right. Um, Megan has been a coach for a while and like, like we all, you know, go at our own pace and I've been messaging Megan. I'm like, all right, girl, you ready. And I loved your response. You're like, Kessa, you, you've done it, but now I got to find my way. And holy shit. Like you found your way by driving by yourself where the CEO was, where you have Janelle Summers. I mean, you know, three time star diamond, you know, 15 star diamond. I mean, the lady's incredible. And then you get to work out live with Autumn Calabrese. Like I say, that's a heck of a step out of your comfort zone and I'm super proud of you. So congratulations, girl. We would love, before we go any further, cause we're kind of going to talk about Super Saturday, but I would love, since you were there with Carl, like I would love your takeaway. Do you have any takeaways that you, you are willing to share with us? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Which like three lot. pages of notes. Well, that's um, awesome. <laughs> but it was mostly everything that's been said already in, um, like the training groups that I've been in, it just was like a kick in my face, like, stupid, what have you been doing this whole time? It took Janelle Summers standing in front of 750 people telling me the exact same thing you've been telling me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, sometimes it takes, like you said, you wanted, a, you had, it was time for you to find it on your own. She was excited and then she realized she couldn't get a ticket and like the night before you got a ticket, right? Yeah. I mean... Is that not meant to be where you were totally meant to be there? And it was the kick you probably needed. Cause now I see you on Facebook and you're like engaging and your posts are great and you're getting people excited. So keep going, girl, you're going to get it and you're going to start catching wind and then you're going to kind of the momentum's going to pick up. So know that we're here for you and anything now that you trust that we know what we're talking about, <laughs> I'm just teasing, <laughs> you know? Kimberly is great. I mean, she had some great training at our Super Saturday. Uh, you know, if you were on the team call, here, I'm going to mute you. We'll mute you back up. Thank you, girl. Um, you know, she shared it on Summer's, on Team Curves call on Monday. I didn't get to listen to her training, but it was really good. And I started utilizing the paper again that you gave us like a couple months ago. Um, 
So Super Saturday, it was awesome where we went to DC. So I don't know if anybody else, who else, by raise of hands, who else went that I, that I didn't see in DC? Cool. I think I've seen most of you guys, right? How fun. It was so much fun. These events, you guys are like, I haven't, I just met Brenda, Adrian, were you in DC? We met so many people. All right. And then Katie, I know her from the, what's it called? And gra Ask Grabber Megan. All right. Colleen, I met you there too. And Krista and Casey, were you there? Got it. Okay. And Crystal. Awesome. So that's one fun thing about going to events, you guys, is like, look, we see each other on here, but we never, you know, you don't get to meet each other face to face. So I thought that was a lot of fun meeting all these new people. Um, it was obviously a great time. Summer always hosts great parties and, and events. I mean, for new people like Autumn, I know that was her first time. And it just, you guys just get to those kind of places. Anytime you can go to an event or take people with you, you know, go by yourself because she busted the trend of, oh, I don't want to have anyone to go with. I mean, she went by herself with 700. She weren't by herself. She has 750 other friends there in a room learning and all everyone's catching what Carl's throwing down. Um, I'm going to just go into my biggest takeaway with summer. Or at, it was more of a summer when we did some team training in the cabin. Um, and I love it because summer is now getting so raw and she cusses and I really enjoy that. <laughs> And what she said, and you guys, you know, the ones that were there, but what I took from what Summer was saying was, you know, that shit on your star, you know, did you guys like, I loved it. It was just like people shit on our star our whole entire life. And like, we're made to sparkle, you know, which got me thinking, like, I've been trying to like say, how do I, you know, my elevator pitch, you know, like, what do you say to somebody when they ask you what you do? And Summer was like the hope giver. Well, I've always been saying like reclaim my sexy or something, but that weekend made me realize what it is and it's reclaim your sparkle because everyone deserves to shine. Right. So I love, that's really, I know it's so, it was so minute, but gave me such a, a, I never knew what to say to people. I know I'm not the only one that struggles. What do you say? I mean, what do you say? And you look at your fitness coach. Okay. Well, what, what the heck is that? And you know, so I help people reclaim their sparkle. That was like my biggest takeaway and summer cusses a lot, which I like, but one thing, actually one thing I have right here, and I know it's probably out of our 21 laws of leadership, but she talked about the law of momentum and it was like this, this big old, I don't know, algebraic formula. It was focus, you know, uh, focusing on doing your work, right? Doing the things that need to get done every day, which are so minute. Even Janelle Summers says it's, this is all she does. You know, they're so small, you guys, that dynamic duo, your bat, um, times intensity, right? Divided by time. So it's definitely going to take okay. us time gonna take to get us there. Time it took me three there. years to find Maybe Jessica. Find Jessica. And you time, am I and you times, times by God, times which by be, God, which you guys heard me in the training. How long it took me to find God? And because of each body, I've found him again. Equals the momentum. Equals the momentum. Can we pause? Can we pause? All right. So anyway, you guys. All right. So anyway, you guys. Am I echoing? Sorry. Kim, can you? There you go. Awesome. Like you can't do that. That really threw me off. Um, all right, so that's what I have. I like that law of the momentum. You know, you got to just be doing the little things, you know, the compound Thank effect. You. You, you can mute it again. You can mute it. Everyone just make sure that they're Everyone muted. Just make sure that they're muted. Okay, hold on. I'm okay, trying to mute on. It's the one that came in on their phone. There you go. It's good now. They keep unmuting their phone. Oh, I, we'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> so I want to hear what um, some of you guys took away from, I mean, we have time for that, right? Yeah, we have time for that. What is some of the took away, you know, like, or let's see, Autumn, I want to hear you. Let's hear your takeaway. Since she made a video for our team today and it, she can't figure out how to get the volume to work <laughs> because on the way home, we talked a little business and what we could do so you're gonna have to unmute yourself or i can't there i know all right awesome hi hi all right so really quick 
share it. Tell us about your video that you made. We'll, we'll listen now. Oh, it's really funny. I made a video. I thought it was awesome until I went to go listen to it and there was no volume. <laughs> All right. So but, instead of you having to redo one, you can do it right now. So tell us. Let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear the video. Well, I, figured out, I figured out how to turn up the volume, so I've got it now. Um, <laughs> one of my biggest takeaways, well, there were several, but one that stuck out with me was when we were doing our workout, um, we were there with 500 people working out. It was awesome. Robert Hudgens was uh, in, working our butts off with his Britney Spears thing going on. And <laughs> we had just done the 21 day fix extreme. Um, it was dirty 30 and he made us do a plank and he's walking around all these people, you know, saying, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. And I was, I was having a hard time towards the end and the girl next to me, I don't know her from Adam. She was just telling me, girl, you got this. Go to your happy spot. So I went to my happy spot, and I did the two-minute plank, and I'm so proud of myself for that. But um, it, this girl, she doesn't know me, but she was like uh, my friend. And it's just amazing the people you meet. You know, you don't know these people. And she wasn't even on our team. I mean, I hadn't seen her, you know. It just was amazing. Um, so if you don't go to the, you know, what is it? <laughs> you have to get to events. You have to go. Right. You will take away so many things. You just got to go. That's all I have to say. Yay. <laughs> I mean, I see Autumn coming back and like ready. I mean, she kind of is like that seasonal coach that Tommy talks about, you know, so he talked about like six different coaches and, you know, like the different, and he talked about that on our, on our um, team call a while back. Let's see, where did I write that? Oh, it's no. Oh, where's that? I want to read them because not everyone has definitely heard this. All right, so I know what it starts with. It starts with not right now, right? So you're a not right now coach. Oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm looking. Too. All right, no, I found it right here. All right, because he says everyone has a role, you know. So he said people are like a not right now person. So you invite them to coaching at a glance, right? We're inviting them or. And listen, I've invited this girl, Anne Marie, into coaching at Glance like three times. And I'm always in there. Can she, did she see it? Is she in there? You know? Um, but she's just not ready. You know? She loves Beachbody. She already's done Shakeology before. She loves, she's just a not, I'm not right, you know, not right now kind of coach. And then other coaches are customers first. So, for instance, people that are in um, our Max 30 group, the girl Kay Michelle that's in there, um, she's a lead. You know? Like, She's, she came to me through Beachbody, started Shakeology. This guy, you guys are in that group. I mean, the ones that are in that group, she's killing that program. She loves Shakeology. Like, oh my gosh. You need she, to share um, your lead video with us, FYI. Oh, yeah. I need it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I just got it. You know, I just, whatever. I'm good. I guess I am. Then there's like discount coaches where, you know, when Autumn first signed up, I mean, she was a discount coach, right? Like when we first signed you up the first time. And, um, you know, some people are just discount coaches and that's totally okay because you never know when they're going to blossom into something more, you know, and then you're at your seasonal coach where, you know, like it's going to the vents, you get pumped up, you know, you're going with it, you're selling some challenge packs and then nothing for like a couple months. And then you're like, I'm done. And then it goes back up, you know, kind of like a roller coaster. Um, then you're a consistent part-time coach where that's where I feel like I'm at. I'm sure Kimberly feels like you're at that spot. Um, and then, you know, full-time professional coach. So summer is a full-time professional coach, you know, I don't know about you guys. I want to be that full-time professional coach. I and mean, that's what I'm aiming for. And if it doesn't matter where you fall on that list, as long as you fall on it. Right. I mean, cause that means you're some, someday you're going to be helping a lot of people. So that's what I got girl. It's your time. Even time, 15 yeah. minutes. You're good. That's good. Um, okay. I just want to keep on with the theme of getting to events. So, and I was actually kind of like tearing up or getting goosebumps when Autumn was talking because that's how I feel like, and that's how I felt. That's how I have felt since Saturday and since coming home, like the ride home I got to do with Krista. Uh, she's probably not on the call. She probably sleep, but, um, she just shared with me things that, um, I didn't know about her just, you know, and it didn't have to do with coaching. It just, Oh, she is here. Um, 
Well, I'm not even going to scroll to your face because then I'll start crying. But she just opened up to me and shared with me. And that's what you get out of events. Yes, you get notes. And yes, you, you um, learn some beach body tips. And yes, you learn what the next big thing's going to be and this and that. And it's fun. But um, really, that's, and I said this in DC, like, that's what I get out of this is the community. This is, you know, like more than the money, it's the community for me. And if it's the money for you, that's fine. I love the money too. I love Thursday paychecks, but I like the community. I like getting to know you guys. I like knowing, sharing personal stuff and like, you are my friends. Like, and I loved talking about, um, this, you know, the, the five people you surround yourself with. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this. Um, and it's a constant theme we talk about, but you are a product of the five people that you hang around with. So that's your circle, right? And I know there's 15 on the call, but you guys are my circle. Like you are the people that I look forward to seeing. You are the people I look forward to talking to about because you're all here to better yourself. You're all here to, you all have goals. You all have dreams. Otherwise you really wouldn't be on this call. So it doesn't matter if you're just starting out as a coach, you're a discount coach, or you're working towards being that full-time coach. Maybe you never want to be that. Like, like you talk to Summer and She'll say, you know, I don't, I don't want to be top 10. That's fine. That's, that doesn't make her any less of a full-time successful coach. She blows those top 10 people out of the water, if you ask me. Um, mm -hmm. In most cases, she's making more money. She's working way less hours. And she's, she's fulfilling other needs. She's not filling being on a top 10 list. She's fulfilling a community. She, she, I mean, she paid for this amazing event that we got to participate in. In FYI, we got to participate because Kessa and I asked to participate. Like a lot of people I think came to us and I just think this is good advice. A lot of people said to me like, well, why do you get to go? Like I heard it was sold out. And I said, because Kessa and I invited her to come. Like we kind of started the conversation and Casey's one of her best friends. So that didn't hurt either. But, um, we were, we had the inside. Yeah. But we started the conversation and like, right. I'm not afraid to do things like that. Like, and I don't think you should either. Um, because, and the reason I did start the conversation is because I want to be in summer circle because I know that I am the product of the five people I'm hanging out with. And that doesn't mean like that my friends won't be my friends anymore, but even from being a coach for a year and a half, um, those relationships have changed. And sometimes it, that can be sad and that can be different. Um, my two best friends in the world, um, aren't on this journey with me and that's okay. Like at some point you just have to say, that's okay. This is not for them. They can't go with me. But at the other time, 90% of the stuff that I love to talk about and get passionate about and get excited about revolves around like killing my max 30 workout, getting my husband involved, my kids cooking with me in the kitchen, these beach body calls, like it all kind of revolves around beach body. So when I don't have that to talk about with those friendships, it, it can be hard, but that's okay. I mean, they're, I mean, I'm not trying to say you can't be friends with them anymore, but I, I want to be friends with you. So when Krista sh shared with me and opened up with me, knowing that we were friends, but more acquaintance friends and she was on my team, like it, it just meant a lot to me. So thank you, Krista. But I, so I've been thinking a lot about that and been emotional about that. And, um, it's just another reason to mark your calendar for the next one, which is April 25th, because even if you're going alone, like, I don't know if you guys saw my post about my coach, um, Maggie Cock went to the Lincoln, Nebraska one yeah. and had Shanti like yelling in her face, kind of like that moment for you, Autumn, though, where she's like, hold the plank. Like he was like, <laughs> her face, like you can do this. Like you got this. You, you're, and I said, how did that make you feel? And she's like, oh my gosh, I just felt like I could conquer the world. Like, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to, and you know, she's in a bit in the midpoint of her fitness journey. She's lost a ton of weight. She's got more to go. But like, I think that was the boost that she needed. So she might not have got something out of that event that's going to grow her business, but she's like, I'm doing this. I'm getting back to posting in my logs. I'm getting back to my happy place, like getting back to pushing play. So that did that for her. Like we all get different stuff out of it. So mark your calendar for the next one. Hopefully we can all do something as a team again together. 
But if you are alone or you are far away, that doesn't mean you can't go and really benefit from it. And then on that note, I hope that, um, I hope that everyone on this call gets on the wait list for the cruise for 2016. Because I got my ticket this I time. Got, I got my ticket. I got I my got it. I've got a fancy room because it was all that was left. I was like, oh, I better get to work. So, so it's, regarding the cruise, if you need the link or whatever, I'll, you know, let me know. But um, it's on the wait list now, but the wait list is in the order that you get on it. So I'm really here guaranteeing if you get on the wait list right now, you're probably going to be on the cruise. So, but I think people were nervous, like, oh, I don't want to pay a deposit. Am I going to earn it? But we have all year and you don't have to be on the wait list to be earning it. So say you got on the wait list in March, like any success club points that you're earning in January or February, they count towards it just so you yeah. know. But here's the awesome part. Like you guys are coaches right now. You have all year, you have all year to earn it. Like you're going to earn it. You have all year because even if you're just starting and you're like, Oh, I don't, I haven't even started inviting. I haven't even started getting success club or I don't know what to do. It's okay. You have all year. Like when I came in and went on my first trip, which was a cruise a couple years ago, um, I had only been a coach for six months and I earned it. So there's no reason that you maybe you don't go on fire till July doesn't mean you still can't earn it. So don't think that, but I put in this call, like the little start now picture, because I think you're all at an advantage that it's January and you get to start now. Like January, people are still making their resolutions. People are still coming off their holiday high or low, whatever. But, um, <laughs> and then I think February and March is even better because, a lot of people are trying to do it on their own or they're like, I'm going to join the gym or I'm going to do this. And if you're inviting those people to challenges or getting them involved in a 10 day or getting them involved in a free group so they can see what we do. And even if they're telling, you no for January, February, you know, I'm going to keep inviting them. And I encourage you to keep inviting them when I go to invite them in March or April. And they're like, I haven't lost anything. They're not going to say that to you, but in their head, don't you think they're like, Oh, I haven't lost anything because I know when I was invited, it was, I think it was January. And I said, um, to myself, I was like, I can do this on my own. Like I'll get a grip. And I was going on a trip to Vegas in like the middle of February. And I was like, I've got six weeks to the da. Like I'm going to do this. Cause I had seen the price and I was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I, I got this. And February came, I went to Vegas and I, I weighed the most that I had weighed, like including my third pregnancy. Like I was miserable. I was unhappy. I didn't get to wear like any of the clothes that I wanted to wear. And then I went to Vegas and like ate and drank myself silly. So that didn't help either. And then I came back and it was like that kind of perfect timing invite where my coach sent me an invite after my trip because she knew that my, that was kind of one of my excuses and said, Hey, I have another group starting. Do you want to jump in? And I was at such a low that I said, yes. I was like, yes, where's the link? Like, I'm doing this. I don't care. Like, I'm doing it. Because I hadn't done anything in that six weeks. And then I just felt gross. And I was out of excuses. So maybe that was, you know, only had to ask two or three times. But there's people like that where I have to ask multiple, multiple, multiple times before they're ready. Cause they always have an excuse. Like I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do it myself. I have this, um, I have this vacation coming up. I'm going to wait till after that. I'm really busy with school. I'm going to wait till finals are done. But I mean, that's life. Like that's just, there's it's always, always going to be something. So you, you yeah. definitely have to overcome those objections. The worst thing you guys can say, I kind of got off on a tangent, but the worst thing that you guys can say to those objections is okay. That's the worst thing you can say. Like you can, you can, and write it to me, like Snapchat it to me. What did they say? Like, cause I don't want you writing back. Okay. To anyone. Like I want you to say something that tries to overcome the objection in some way. You say feel felt found. Yes, I put it on the board, feel, man. Yeah. So that was, a big, yeah, that was a big thing this weekend that we discussed. And, um, I said on the call on Monday, but yeah. So feel felt found. Like I understand how you feel. I have felt the same way in the past, but what I found is now that I work out 30 minutes a day and now that I meal prep, I actually have more time because I have more energy. I have more desire to get up and go. I I'm not exhausted. Like 
So, and dinner's not like just trying to scrounge something up. Like it's prepared. Like I have, I have a fridge full of groceries for the week. So, um, and before, before time goes off, I want to say one, we have four minutes or about, but I want to hear if any, if anybody has takeaways. But one thing about the cruise is that if you, you have to earn at least success club 10 within the first three months, so you can hold your place on that waiting list. So if you're on the waiting list right now, Oh, that's for that, the wait list too, not just if you're registered. That's for the wait list, isn't it? Anybody else? Echo, you would know that. Am I right? I thought it was if you registered and you don't. Maybe it is. If you're, regist if you're registered, for example, we're registered, and mm -hmm. if we don't hit okay. a total okay. of SC10 in the first okay. three months, we get taken off and get our deposit back, and they put okay. someone from the wait list on there. All right. I maybe read it wrong. That's Either way, let's just it, say it both ways. Because then if you're on the wait list, it'll make you make sure you get success left done. Just to push you. Well, I just want you to get on the wait list regardless. Because it's like not a year and a half away, but it's a long time away. And I feel like some people are <laughs> like, oh, I don't know, da, da, da. But I'm, I'm telling you, if you're sticking with us the rest of the year, come next January, you are going to be kicking yourself. Because yeah. we're going to be saying, we're going on the cruise in a few months. And you're going to be yeah. like, I want to go on the cruise. I want to go to Cancun. Are you going? Are you going with Echo? Is Echo going? Who's going? No. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. Let's not. I'm sorry. I know. I I'm know sorry. Echo. I am. We I'm gotta sorry. Out I'll, we I'll take thing. a picture with my margarita for you. I'm Toss sorry. your face, you jerk. All right. Does anybody want to um, unclick themselves and share a takeaway? We'd love to hear from you. Come on, Ask Grabber. Let's hear it. Yeah. I love that girl. She slapped my ass right when she didn't even, I never even met her before. And she came up to me and slapped me on the ass. And I'm like, oh my God, I love her. <laughs> How did she know? Stop it. I already knew you. You know, I already knew you. Um, right. Okay. My biggest takeaway from what I wish I had my notes with me right now, but without even looking at my notes was when Summer was telling us that we just need to believe in ourselves, believe in what we're doing and I think one of the other things was the objections that you're going to get or the objections that you believe yourself. So if you think Shakeology is too expensive, other people are going to know that you think that and that's going to be what they say. If you think that it takes too much time, other people are going to tell you they just don't have time for it. So just believing in everything that it's done for you. Like I know at least I know everybody with Team Courage has a pretty amazing story behind what they have going on. And um, I just, I like, I don't know what I would do without Beachbody, without all you guys. And I, I, that's just, I mean, I just can't even, I have no words. <laughs> but really, it just believe in yourself, believe in what we're doing for people and know that it's going to help change lives and just be able to portray that to people. Awesome. Awesome. You definitely have to believe for sure. All right. Who's next? Come on. Megan already shared. Jessica, you're on there. Come on. Let's hear it. You're on the phone. I see you. I know your telephone. Number. I am. I'm eating. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, swallow. I got home from work. I know this um, girl's a rock I star. I actually, huh? I said you're a rock star, for real. <laughs> Learn from the best. Yay! Did you beat me today? Did you get fifteen? Uh, no, I made fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty? Well, I only made fifteen. Yeah. You knew I made fifteen. And you know? I fell on the floor. <laughs> What I did. Doing, the, doing the what's it called? Freaking one arm burpee sweep. Oh my god, crazy! Right. Well, I'd love to hear what you took took away from um your first speech body uh experience. You know, event. Let's hear it. You know, there. Are, I mean, there's so many things, and I don't have my notebook in front of me either. It's upstairs, but some of the biggest things I took away were, you know, not, not just believing in the product, but believing in yourself more than anything and like digging down really, really deep to try and figure out why 
you're here, like what it is that you're doing. What does this mean? What does this mean to me? And then why not me? Why can't I be where summer is? Why can't I be helping all these people? And that made me think really hard all weekend long, and you know this, with things that I've been struggling with recently and, like, decisions. And I made those decisions, and I went and put them into play after I left there. Um, But just moving forward with the company, uh, I mean, I don't even know where else to go with what I learned. (laughs) I'm sorry, my brain is scrambled today. Um, You're fine, girl. You are, you're, yeah. you're just, just being there and, and with working out with all those people. I mean, if you guys haven't worked out like in a, a group like that, mm. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, my legs still are sore. And then I know that those assholes are behind me watching me, Autumn and Jessica. And at one point, <laughs> Jessica's like, man, I wanted you to stop them push ups because I was stopping after you. Or like today. You know, she go has to go 30 seconds longer than me and max out. But I like that, you guys. Like, I haven't had someone push me so much. And Jessica, you push the heck out of me. And I, I love it to death, man. We've known each other for, we were talking about 15 years. I mean, that's a, a friendship. We, we knew each other like at community college and then did whatever. And then we started bartending together and we worked really well at the bar together. Um, we made lots of money and had lots of fun. Um, and then like, you know, she went to, she left and she went to college and everything. And, and she's followed me on Facebook and she's done challenge groups. And she's, she is one of those, like the progression of seeing it on Facebook and, um, going through her own challenge groups and stuff and just loving beach body, the products and everything. I mean, that's why she's so successful. Plus she's a hard worker, the hardest worker I know, I swear. And she's, I'm reading personal mm-hmm. development books. She's like, Oh, that book is great. I'm like, oh my gosh, she handed me three personal development books when I came to her house. <laughs> Here, I thought you might like these. Like, it's incredible, you guys, but um, super proud of you, Jessica. I can't wait. I say you're going to hit diamond um, by the end of next month, which is what I'm guessing. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. Anybody else want to, want to, any takeaways? Krista, what about you, girl? Come on. I think you manded the, um, the downstairs in the kitchen you like that was your spot the whole that's where you stood and so I went down there I'm like there she is yes that's funny let's hear what you got to say um shit we didn't record this oh it says recording, recording. Sorry, my bad. recording. You totally recorded that um my okay. biggest takeaway from this weekend um Probably one of the biggest things was the belief, like believing in yourself. And it's just kind of put a whole new like outlook on everything. I feel like that kind of touched me like in all areas of my life, not just with this program, but just kind of with anything, um, with doing the whole 30 and doing my workouts and everything like that. And just with my family, if I believe I can make, you know, believe in it, I know I can make it happen. And it's really just kind of changed everything. And now I feel like I know. I can do this. I know I can make it work. It's going to take some time, but I completely believe. And I think that's what I was lacking, the belief that I could actually be successful. So therefore, everything else kind of, um, I guess, I felt like it didn't matter what I was going to do and how many invites I sent or anything like that. I probably wasn't going to be successful anyways. So sometimes I think that kind of got in my head. And so I think with that whole, I believe I can do it. It just, I mean, the mindset just completely changed. And I came home and talked to Jerry and I was like, I want to do this. I know you're skeptical, but I just need you to, you know, support me in it. And then, and I think it was the first time I actually had like a serious conversation. Like, this is what I want to do. And I finally think I've just committed 110% where I was only kind of partially there. So that belief just really got me. Awesome. That's awesome. Summer would be so excited right now that she conveyed that message. You know, it was a good one. Gosh, I mean the shit on our stars. You're right. That's you were telling yourself. I mean, I was forever. I'm not a leader. I'm not like it proved this, this weekend getting vulnerable with the girls that were there, which was very, very hard for me. Um, like, dude, if I can be a leader, anybody can be a leader. I never thought of myself that worthy of anything, you know, and that anybody would listen to me or 
that I would go yeah. anywhere. I would just be a bartender, which is fine, but I would just be a bartender every all the time and I wouldn't have, you know, anything in life. So Beachbody's done that to me and I've learned that stuff at events, you know, like I think it was Autumn that said, you know, it's not, it's not an onion. You're peeling layers. It's a rose petal. It was you, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, of course you would say that. <laughs> but I like the onion analogy. You know, and every time I leave these, I mean, it sounds like you guys feel the same way. Every time you leave these events, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, you learn so much more about yourself more so than any skill of, of actually, you know, business building, you know? Um, all right. Who else wants to go? Katie, you want to go? Let's hear your takeaways. We got, we got two and a half minutes. We got time. Hi. 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 Um, I have to find it. My little favorite thing. Okay. I'll actually share this with Matt who's sitting right next to me. I like when I think summer said, um, would you rather have a TV dinner that tastes like crap or a crock pot meal that tastes delicious? Because I like to rush and rush and rush things and expect like immediate results. But it really made sense, kind of like the compound effect. You know, you put effort and you put effort and effort and effort, and it's going to turn out bigger than you could ever imagine instead of rushing it and, you know, flopping and being discouraged. So that was my biggest start in my notes that nice. I rewrote because I'm an emerald. <laughs> you rewrote I got a little notebook in <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's great. Hey. I wanted to be organized. I, I normally so type weird. mine, and I wish it would have, because this looks like chicken scratch. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that was my biggest one. Sweet. What about you, Brenda? We're going to get cut off, but let's hit them. Brenda, what about you? Let's hear it. She was such a sweet little pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I liked how it was really, it wasn't so much about the business. It was really more about getting raw and being very vulnerable, vulnerable about ourselves and addressing our own personal fears. And for me to be able to do that was huge. And the overwhelmingly wonderful response of the people in the group that supported me was something I had never felt before. So just having that real sense of community and connecting with other people to me was the best part. Yeah. Uh, yep. You're a pearl just like Autumn. She likes that camaraderie. She likes the... He's in my group. group. <laughs> yeah. well, yep. No, there, that Girl Scout feeling. It's a good <laughs> awesome. All right. You got anybody else want to... You, you were... Anybody else want to before we jump off? We're gonna get cut off. It's gonna Come cut on. off. Here's your time. All right. April twenty fifth is the next Super Saturday. It would be awesome if we could all get together and do it again. Go somewhere. I mean, we don't have to necessarily drive to DC, but I would do it again as long as people in my car would help me freaking drive. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> all right. Well, look. Right. Hey, I just want to say shout out to all of us. Something happened this weekend because we never have sixteen people on our call. I know. It's so, huge. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Next I totally week, took a picture. It's going to be awesome, you guys. So let's keep the momentum going. All right. Just like this, you know, you got to be consistent. You got to put in the time. 